Hey guys, today me and Andrew are going to be trying three items from um, Susan and John in Canada. My short term memory is awful here anymore. Uh, there are three different items here. Two of them kind of relate to each other. They go together and one's kind of separate. One of them is um, Storm Chips and I'll tell you what the, diff what the deal is with Storm Chips. And the other one is a Clamato juice, Clamato, Clamato juice, Clamato, you say Clamato, I say Clamato. Um, anyway, this is the works. And then this is a glass rimmer, which is like a, um, a salt, but it looks like it has seasoning and stuff in it. So she says that the juice and the rimmer, um, says most Canadians don't realize that this is a Canadian product, but, but I'm pretty sure we get it down here. I think I've seen this at like the um, the liquor barn. I think I've seen this before, but I don't remember. I may not, I may remember it wrong. And usually you take it and you put it into a glass with this Caesar uh, Rimmer salt. So what you do is you dip, I'm gonna open this up so you can see what it looks like. Well, I'm gonna try to open it down. I opened it once already just to make sure I could open it. Yeah. That's what the salt looks like. And Oh yeah, definitely has a smell to it. It smells like uh, dressing. I'm gonna get Tammy just to stick her nose down there just to smell. What do you, what seasoning is that? I don't know, something I'm not familiar with. Anyway, it it's definitely has a seasoning to it. So what you do is you take your glass and you dip it in water and then you dip it into the salt and you got a rim. And I probably put too much on there, but who knows? I don't know, I've never, I don't, I'm not a drinker, so I don't know uh, exactly how you do it. That one's a little less. We'll give this, I'll drink this one and Andrew can have the other one. <laughs> and then what you do is you take this and you fill it, um, the, the recommended way of doing it is you put, um, you fill it about halfway up with the, with the drink, with ice, and then you add the juice, and then you add um, Worcestershire and Tabasco sauce to it, but since this one says the works, she says it already has it in there, so you don't have to add anything to it. Um, you can add vodka, one and a half ounces of vodka to it as well, but we don't drink, so we don't have alcohol in it. She said it's perfectly fine without it. And then um, she said you can also put a celery stick in there, kind of like a, um, a mixed drink. I'm trying to think of what the name of it is. Shirley Temple? No, Shirley Temple's will have celery. Oh. Um, anyway, you can put celery in Bloody here. Mary. Yeah, mix it up if you want to, but, but we don't have celery either, so we're just gonna drink it. Um, and then the storm trips, let me tell you about those. The deal was that, um, let me read this whole thing. Yes. Have me looked it up. It says, Stephanie Domit of Nova Scotia hosts a radio program, and she said that when it storms, um, all she wants is chips. So one day when there were storms in the forecast, she went to the store and bought her chips, took a picture of them, and the hashtag storm chips. The rest is history. So it was named, she just kind of came up with the word storm chips because you get your chips while you're having a storm. So anyway. So me and Andrew are gonna take these, I'm gonna pour, I'm gonna go ahead and pour these in the, put ice in here, pour these in the glass, and then I'll catch you in the other room. Okay, we're here, and uh, we're gonna get it. I've never drank a drink with, with salt on the outside. I've never, I've never had a margarita or anything. I've never had either, or anything so, where they dip the glass. Right, I've, never, so I've never had this. Wondering thing. about the mechanics of it, but we'll figure it and out. And I just so, sat down, so what, what are we drinking? Um, it's Clamato, Clamato juice tomato juice tomato 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 i say tomato so it'd be yeah. tomato juice and then the Clamato. caesar caesar rimmer that does have a seasoning in it so so and it, like i said no alcohol in this ah, but it, it is um okay we're just gonna go for it the salt is really really strong that's spicy some heat to it it's not bad though. The, I kind of uh, like it. The 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 rimmers where it's at. The rimmers got all the stuff. Yeah. Now Susan says she did not like the rimmer, so she drinks it with a straw. But um, you get a lot of salt and seasoning. I'm gonna drink another drink without the the place I already drank it at and see if I like. Well, the, I need to get the juice. some of mine off then, because I want to just taste the juice. It tastes like a tomato juice that has some um, some Tabasco sauce, which is what it's supposed to have. Mm -hmm. Actually, I like it with a rimmer better. What do you think? It's just weird all the way around. It's different. I kind of like it though. It's different. It's weird all the way around for me. It it it's it shouldn't be that unpleasant um, without some sort of alcohol. Yeah. Now with alcohol, it's going to 
whatever, you know. Um, I don't mind it. I didn't know it had hot sauce in it. It's but spicy, it is it? it is very, very spicy and the uh the rimmer makes it ten times more spicy. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. as if I just shook spices in my mouth. Yeah. Okay. We'll slide it here, give me your glass. You're making a mess on it. And it's it's just weird. Okay, let's try these chips. I'm like already burping spices. <laughs> <laughs> these are storm chips. And they're only called that because the girl said that she likes to eat chips when there's a storm. So she, she took a picture of some chips and called them storm chips. And that's kind of how they, they happen. Now they've been kind How's of- That's how the, the brand came about? This is just what they call them. Uh, they've been kind of smoosh, but I think there's a mixture of chips in here. I see some that are light, some that are dark. They look like kettle chip. Mm-hmm. Now that was like a vinegar and onion, a vinegar, salt and vinegar kind of chip. That's what I'm getting. Salt and vinegar? Mm-hmm. Mm. They're good. It's a very, very good salt and vinegar. They are. They're probably one of the best ones I've had. Yeah, I can eat a lot of this, but I can't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I'll have to um, do it. Um, what's the today? Those um, are excellent. If you like salt and vinegar, chips. Oh, yeah. If you like salt and vinegar, then bam, that's, that's for you. See, it says it's smoking sweet barbecue, sea salt and vinegar, which is what I taste most mm -hmm. of, uh, hump salt ketchup, and creamy dill. Probably getting a lot of that dill, too. I'm getting a lot of pickle. Yeah, that's the deal. And I did get a little bit of barbecue. See, I didn't know that. I yeah. didn't know that there was four flavors yeah. in this bag. There you go. Because there's a, there was a, I was trying to place things, but I taste more of that vinegar than I do anything else. Yeah, the, the, the creamy dill. And the dill. The vinegar and the dill. Mm. I like those a lot. They're good. I'm assuming they're probably not supposed to be squished and crushed up in little pieces like this. So these are pretty, pretty smashed. But that one was the ketchup. Very, very good chips. I would buy these. Definitely. Good mix of chips. I would buy these chips. I wouldn't if they look like that. No, I, th if, I think they're bigger. Yeah, if they're, if they're like, actually, th these chips look like somebody smashed them yeah. a little bit. Well, they probably were in the box. Yeah. <laughs> so, if there was actually big honking chips in here. Yeah, which I got a few bigger pieces. But at I least this big. I mean, this is probably the biggest piece I can see. Mm -hmm. And most Canadian potato chips aren't very big either. So. Mm -hmm. I'm So, really good. The juice... Um, I'm on the fence. I kind of like it, but it's not something I would drink all the time. No. Not for you. <laughs> if you were drinking a mixed drink, though, at a bar or something, that may be something you could order if you wanted to. But uh, it's not horrible. Not something I drink all the time, though. So uh, thank you very much for sending these to us. We really appreciate it. Always appreciate anything people send us. We enjoy trying new things. And uh, we'll catch you next time.